Okay, welcome to another episode of new Pokemon product opening. Today we have the very newest item, the Marnie Premium Tournament Collection. Featuring Marnie, a character from the Sword and Shield era. This milk carton is what they call it, because it looks like a milk carton. Contains a lot of stuff. This product retails for $40. However, currently... It's being scalped online, resold for $80. Um, so why is that? It's because this product has been heavily allocated and people have not been able to get their, their hands on this. You can't get this in Target, you can't get this at Walmart. Apparently everybody can only get this at your local game store where they're marking up the price. So I got this for $65. Online, you can get this for $80 right now. But uh, yeah, let's take a look. What is in this box? So I would say, you know, $80 might be a fair price. If you get it for less than $60 or get it for retail for $40, it's a steal. So why is that? Why is that the case? So in this milk carton, what do we have? We have a deck box featuring Marnie. We have some markers. Nobody cares. We have some pink dice. Also, nobody cares. We have a coin featuring Marnie. I don't think anybody cares about that either. And finally, we have a set of sleeves featuring Marnie practicing her smile. And this one, the Marnie promo, full art alternate card. So basically, this card came out in Japan in Shiny Star V, but it was excluded in Shining Fates in the English release. And the reason why this card is so sought after is because you can't pull it from Shining Fates. And you can only get this promo card from this premium collection. So right now, this card is being resold on the secondary market for $40 and that's basically half the price of the box so I think yeah not bad I mean if you equate the value of the contents of the box $40 for this promo plus seven packs plus all the other content you get from this not too bad so let's take a look at the pack selection that is provided in this Thing. Okay, so we have one Darkness Ablaze, one Vivid, three Chilling Rain, and two Battle Styles. So seven packs, four dollars a pack, which comes out to be twenty-eight dollars. Uh, you add the cost of the promo, which is forty. You know that's already sixty-eight dollars worth of content. And if you buy this online for eighty dollars, you know you calculate the sleeves and the deck box itself. It comes out to be like around eighty dollars. So it's not terrible if you're paying $80, but you can definitely do better. I mean, yeah. Main reason why people will buy this is to get this $40 promo. But if this, if the cost of this price of this card goes down, then the value of this box will tank significantly. So uh, yeah, it really depends on how you value this card. Alright, so back to the pack selections. Two battle styles, three chilling rain, one vivid, and one darkness ablaze. Let's start with battle styles. Typically, the most undesired set is battle styles. Right now, you can buy a pack of these for three dollars per pack. Um, yeah, battle styles. Battle styles is not very, very popular, and uh, the pull rates are not that good, so people don't like the set first pack it's nothing good next up second battle styles let's see what we get and um let's see Bolton is the rare again nothing good all right next up Chilling Rain, three chances to get 
Something good. Will we get something good? That is the question. Raplot is the hollow. All right, second chilling ring pack. So, so far, three packs in. Nothing good. But, you know, that's what you uh, would expect from pulling random cards from a pack. Pack Leon, rare. And nothing else. Oh yeah, and uh, the Marnie collection actually went up on Pokemon Center today for retail $40, but it sold out instantly. It just shows you how d difficult it is to get this for retail. And it's good for, for good reason, you know? There's a lot of value in this, but most of the value comes from the promo cards, not the packs themselves. The packs themselves, big yikes. Five packs and nothing good. Vivid Voltage. Whale Lord Hollow. Last pack. Darkness Ablaze. Hoopa, hollow, rare. Not one ultra rare that day. Okay, that's fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. Alright, let's open the promo and see what's inside. Okay, so... Again, the promo is what sought after. Full art trainer. It looks like, yeah, this card is pretty good. Okay, and there's also three copies of this alternate art Cosmos Foiling Marnie. So this card is, uh, Pretty good in competitive play because it does hand disruption. So it forces you to draw five cards as well as your opponent and shuffle their entire hand into their deck. So let's say the guy just set up last turn, he drew a bunch of cards in one turn. He has 10 cards in his hand and he's ready to kill you next turn. But you play this card, force him to throw 10 cards into the deck and then draw four cards. You, you just basically ruined his plans. So this card it's basically a four of in each deck because in competitive, you know, this is a momentum swing. So, uh, so yeah. Now, if people really wanted to and get a place out of this, it's going to be pretty pricey. So, uh, so yeah, so that's that. By the way, these are being sold for $4, but I don't think that's going to hold. Four dollars each. So in reality, twelve dollars plus this being sold for forty plus the value of the packs, which is seven times four, which is twenty-eight. You know that pretty much gets you to eighty bucks if you think about it. The value is not terrible, but so the conclusion is. If you can get this product for under, I don't know, 70, 80, I would say it's a pretty good investment. You can't go wrong unless you open the packs. The packs are bad, but random, so you never know what you're going to get. All right, thanks for watching.
you next time. Peace.